If you're new to woodworking, one of the things you're going to come up on is putting some lumber together. You know, do I use screws? Do I use nails? What kind of a cut do I need? Do I need a dovetail? You know, should I router this thing out for some reason? Like Norm used to do on uh, was it New Yankee Workshop. You're going to run into things. And right today, I wanted to go back to the very basics. Uh, two two by fours. If you're going to connect two two by fours together, to build a workbench or you're, you're doing uh, studying on a you know on a, a outer wall new wall renovation whatever you're gonna look at the two two by fours and he you know some people actually will come up with a problem here and say okay do I connect it this way or do I connect it that way which way hmm. so sometimes they'll split the difference and say okay we'll connect them this way not bad, huh? <laughs> well, what happens is you have to look at your load. So your load condition. So if it's like a stud in a wall, and this is your top plate, this is where the load factor is coming down, then obviously this it needs to land on top of the 2x4 like that. And generally, you know, top to bottom, that's, that's pretty much consistent. Uh, very few times are you ever going to run into something where you want to connect it this way. But it does happen. And it's because you have a door or something that's going to be hanging here, and this 2x4 is going to want to be pulled over. So when you're constructing, uh, building something, uh, when you're building something, you want to do it like that. Okay, now the 45 degree angle where we just cut them both 45 and put them together, this makes a nice joint for decorative stuff, but it's also for like framework where you're going around something and you want a nice pretty looking joint. This is going to give it to you. And actually when you're doing woodworking at first, these 45s, they get pretty tricky. They get to be a real problem. The other problem that we see out in the industry a lot, and it's really common, is when you are putting your 2 by 4s together like this, nailing in. A lot of uh, new people, newcomers, will not know where to put the nail. If you put the nail in the center, coming down through to this 2 by 4 you'll actually have a problem. You're going to split the lumber. So I'm going to show you basically how to get away from that. And there's two, two things to have to keep in mind. And even sometimes then, maybe sometimes it still splits. But let's take a look at how to nail these in. Okay, basically we're nailing this two by four on top of this two by four, and we want to drive it in. Nails, or a lot of people are using these screws these days. That's become pretty popular. Uh, the first simplest trick would be Right about there. Now, if you can't see that, we're going to do the 3D thing or something here. What's the 3D thing? Well, that's where I uh, I come a little bit closer. Okay. And okay, now maybe you can. Uh, that'll be even better to see it. But say there's the there's the screw or the nail going down through what I said is the center. And there's going to be at least two, but you should have three if you can. But two is fine for some general construction or general framing work. If you're building something. If you're expecting some kind of unusual loads, then three is actually a lot better. But the first thing you want to do is you don't want to do it like that. Really? Yeah. So if you have to do uh, at first, a lot of people get an eye for it, but what you do is look at this inner edge right, let's see if we can see that, right about there. And we're going to look back here and trace that line up to the top of this piece of two by four here. If we start in line with that back here, we're away from the end of it, and put on a slight angle, we can drive that in now, and the chances are we should not split the 2 by 4 So that's pretty cool, to just to know that. And it, like I said, it's, today we're basics. So we're looking at something very basic here, just putting this in and nailing a couple 2 by 4s together. How basic can that be? It's pretty basic. But which, so with the angle like this, you're driving this back into here. You're not going to come out this side unless you do something really uh, wild with the angle. But you sort of look down through it, 
and you say, okay, I'm looking down through the screw here, and I can see the screw is driving towards the center of this uh, 2x4 here. And so what I'm looking for is to try to get that angle and just a little bit of angle. It's not going to show up on the inside, on, on this inside part of the joint. It's going to stay within this 2x4, but it's going to go down through and go into that tight grain. And it's going to grab good and you're going to get a good strong hold. Now, if your lumber is really dried out for some reason, or recycled lumber, that kind of thing, and you want to try to avoid the cracking, the other thing you can do is with a screw like this, you're going to want to drill something. Now, when you pre-drill, it becomes a little bit of a problem. You don't want to pre-drill the whole thing out. You want strength in your work. So, when you pre-drill, try to pre-drill only the top, or what I'm calling the upper plate, or this top piece of 2 by 4 You want to drill that out, but you want to leave this alone. So, when you're drilling out, as soon as you feel the, two, the uh, drill dropping through this, you stop and say, okay, I've got my hole. The reason you drill a little hole, and it's a small hole, is this again will stop the cracking if that's what's happening. Uh, if you nail out towards the end here, then by God, yes, it will crack and it will split and you don't have a good joint. In fact, you don't have a safe joint and you don't have a strong connection at that point. So just connecting two 2 by 4s together, how hard can that be? Well, there's a right way and a wrong way and there's a lot of things that can go wrong. So generally, again, you want to come in about a half to almost three quarters of an inch in from the end. The reason for that is you're looking for some meat for this guy to you know, grab onto that's going to pull that down nice and tight. Uh, the screw thing has really taken off. Uh, the last time I was at a lumber store, I wanted to buy some nails and all they had was screws uh, that were decent. So yeah, I ended up, you know what, screws are good. There's a couple of reasons for using screws too. Uh, I've asked around and a lot of people like it because if they decide to change the renovation later on down the road, a lot of times you can use a, a simple impact type gun and you can get these screws back out, reuse the lumber, put it back together or make a small change or a repair or a modification. Because another thing that happens is a lot of guys when they're pulling these down, they'll actually end up pulling this over a little bit. Now you shouldn't do that and it shouldn't happen, but it does. And if you have, a, again, if you have the hole drilled, it lessens the chance of that happening. So here, I'm gonna show you the screw on the side and effectively, this is about what you're looking for is something about like that right there for finish. Now notice how the head lines up back here with this 2x4. And it sort of angles down towards the center or even just slightly past center of the lower 2x4. That is a good, strong connect. You've done your best. If it doesn't work after that, it wasn't your fault. Something went wrong with the material. It was a bad tree. Who knew? <laughs> but that's the best possible connection you're going to get with two 2x4s two just nailing together. Next question. Okay. And this is some thought. If you're using 2x4s like this and you want to connect them, you want lots of depth. Uh, so this is a 3.5 inch screw. And that, in a nail or a screw, is what you want. You want to go deep down into this guy and get onto him really nice and tight and pull that 2x4 together. That's going to give you your strength. So what you, you know, again, you have to select the right size of nail or screw for the job. And there's a couple different things about that. If you're coming across, say, a top like this and you want to connect this to this, do you think it would be longer, shorter, use the same type of thing? Actually, this, the answer here uh, in the recommended part of this industry is again stay with the three and a half. You want to get as much depth into here as you can to get as much strength. Now in a different scenario you might not. Now that scenario would be this right here. But uh, this week from Coffee and Tools got some exciting things coming up and hopefully we're going to uh, do some really cool work I see some lighting issues I got today. That there's too much light. And the reason is the sun is shining full blast on the floor of my shop at the front doors. And it's blasting its way in. And so that's all that you know ground lighting coming up at me. Kind of cool. Uh, so now, because it's 3D this week, we're now going to do the 3D effect and back away. Oh, wow. Anyway, that was cool. Thanks, everybody, for watching Coffee and Tools. Try to see you next week.